I am in one of my favorite places in Florida. This is for the Soto Park, located in St. Petersburg. And I've been coming to this park almost on a daily basis since May. So I, I enjoy a lot seeing how different it is every day because it changes a lot. It depends on the tides, on the wind, the rain, and the sea, and the landscape is completely different every day. So that is really amazing. And um, there are many shorebirds, and especially after a big storm, there are some uh, fresh water uh, puddles where they go to fish or to take a bath. So let's go and visit the park. Just before dawn, I must travel to the park to enjoy the colorful display of the sunrise. Every day is different. Some days, the sky explodes in red, orange, and yellow. While other days, the colors are soft and muted. At dawn, many of the birds are still sleeping. And take a few moments to stretch out and to open their eyes. Waking up is not easy. Some birds take care of their feathers. Others take a splash in the water. and some others seek for their breakfast. The park has five islands interconnected with mangroves and wetlands. Where not only young fish are found, but also frogs, lizards, crabs and oysters. which in turn are food for marine life and birds.
Mangroves inspire me to enjoy nature and to contemplate it through my lenses. I am always looking for beauty in the smallest creatures hidden among the plants and the flowers. The park has 328 species of birds between residents and migratory. Even though all birds are incredibly beautiful, among the large number of birds in the park, there are some that I especially like. and I have been able to enjoy them for almost every day during these past four months. The great egret is a splendid bird. It is really tall, with white plumage. It wades in shallow water, looking for its prey. The great blue heron is another of the large birds here. It walks slowly through the water or stays completely still while waiting for its favorite prey to come close by. One of the most beautiful birds is hidden among the island's mangroves. It is a unique bird it is the result of a cross between the two previous species and it is one of those mysteries of science. Here we can see it. It is a hybrid bird with features of both parents. The ocean, the climate and the abundance of food make this place a unique sanctuary of flora and fauna.
The reddish heron is another of my favorite birds, not only for its beautiful plumage, but also for the incredible dance it does when fishing. Although its name refers to the reddish color of the feathers, some individuals have white plumage, even though they are the same species. They can be recognized from afar by their unique dance when fishing. The arrival of autumn marks the beginning of the migrations and the park fills with birds, many of them occupying every little beach space available. Watching them climb, singing and calling is an incredible experience and there are simply no words to describe it. That's what images are for. At the end of each day, the colors of the sunset are reflected in the water, in the sand, and in the bird's feathers. Each day is unique and full of beauty.